Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cider Havoc here and we are back on the Sky Factory map. Sorry, thought I saw a creeper, which is a green hole or a cow. Alright guys, so a little bit to catch up on. If you see there is something missing over here. I didn't like the mob farm. Um, I wasn't a big fan of it. I mean, I, it was, you know, fine. It was simple from the beginning, but I wanted to create a more advanced mob farm. And so, um, that's kind of what we're going to be doing today. Is that the cow still in here? Yeah, there he is. It's like, I don't know, this witch's water or whatever. He, he was something cool. He was something really cool, which is what made me trap him in there. Make sure he wasn't walking around. Um, what are you anyways? I forget what you are. I just remember you were something cool. Oh, void metal. Yeah, that, I, it just sounded like it might be something cool I'm going to want in the future. So I trapped him in there. Made sure he stayed alive. But anyways, today, um, I want to do a new mob farm. Uh, I've been working with the Thomcraft stuff, but it's so grindy that I've kind of just decided maybe maybe next episode. Well, no, definitely next episode because we're going to be doing a couple episodes on it. But it's so grindy. But I did get a lot of the stuff done. Um, when we left off, all I basically had was this research table. Um, I've now done a deconstruction table, which is really, really basic. It just helps you get some uh, some of the basic primal elements or whatever. Well, that was a lot. And then a um, uh, presser right here. If you throw wood in it, like uh, actual wood wood, it gives you paper, which is cool because you need a lot of paper to do the research and stuff like that. This is yielding a lot right now. Um, and then this right here is the arcane work table, which is basically one of those tables that we did with that. You tap it with your wand and you get this. And then this is a cauldron tapped with the wand. It gives you a crucible. And it's a couple of things we made. And we'll, we'll go over that. But I really want to do a cool mob farm. So I was, I, you know, I haven't ever done real redstone work on uh, any of my, like, any, any, absolutely any of my uh, series. So I thought maybe we'll do some redstone work today. So I want the mob farm to be a lot closer. And understand, the reason I really got into the whole mob farm concept right now, and I'll explain it to you, is because just a couple blocks off that's good um one two three um you need a lot of viz for your wand and you can get that from killing mobs so i didn't want to just have like you know um a mob farm that collected goodies because i'm gonna wait one two three four uh five um, I didn't want to just, you know, collect goodies or whatever. I want to be able to get the, um, the experience and essence or whatever. And, uh, so I thought it might be a good idea to create a little more controlled mob farm. So I'm going pretty advanced with this one. Now to start, I'm just going to do the basic farm itself today, but I do plan on doing a quite more advanced version, um, where I can basically, uh, change the ground level so I can get um, either get the mob drops or just get um, the items that they drop when they crash into the ground. Make sense? So basically, my my advanced version is let's see, it's uh, redstone block. Okay, I I got to measure this out in my head here. Um, block and then a torch and then up there is a piston. And then it extends up there, right? And then this is a repeater, and making sure I'm not falling here. Um, a piston and a piston. Okay, yeah. So that is the height of it right there for the the bottom. And I have to do this now because I don't think I'm going to get to it today. But I'm just kind of making the surface for it because, um, well, the mobs are going to start falling. And so I want to make sure they're crashing to their death and not staying alive when I do this. So basically, it's just a good old fashioned mob farm. Oh, you know, I'm going to go make a whole bunch of fences and I'm actually going to make a water pool right here for right now because I need a safe place to jump down to. And then that way they can actually stay alive and I can make them stay alive or I can um, allow them to die. So, yes. So we're going to make a water pool so I can get down easily and, uh, do I have any buckets? I don't have any buckets on me. But I have iron. So I'm doing most of this with dirt, actually. Uh, the reason I'm doing dirt is because I want these mobs to continue to spawn. And so if they spawn up there, cool. If not, you know, if they spawn down low, it's fine. But I'm going to be doing it of dirt, so regular mobs will still spawn, regardless. So I need a bucket. Let me just grab a couple. 
And um, what am I going to need? I'm going to need some redstone, obviously. And I'm going to... Oh, I've got five. Oh, that's right. So let me show you what I've done down here. I've added a little bit and kind of changed it around. So I move, I made a new pulverizer and I moved my other sifting table up to it. So it automatically uh, sits up there because what it is, is when you get all this gravel or cobble, it turns into gravel and the byproduct is sand, but I want dust for the redstone. That was, I was prepping for this like a day ago and I totally forgot I did that to get the redstone. So what happens is the sand now, instead of getting sieved, goes into this pulverizer whenever I get any, and it pulverizes into dust, and then the dust goes into the sieve, and it puts into the system. And as you can see, it's pretty effective. I actually have quite a bit of redstone now. Pretty, pretty effective. Yeah, and see the dust is going right now. And then I added a secondary chest because these things were filling up like crazy. I'm up to 17 diamonds and 16 emeralds. That's awesome. For, for never mining, that's a lot of diamonds. Anyways, um, I'm going to need some sticks. Well, actually, I'm going to need a lot of sticks because I'm making ladders. So let me just grab a whole bunch. Well, you know what? Let me type in the recipe for ladder. All right. Do it really quickly, like so. So it's going to be from the top of that thing, which is four high, and then it's going to be 23 blocks high. So let's just get enough to make sure we're all the way to the top. There we go. Okay, cool. And then the water will get me down quickly. Sweet. And then, oh, and then I'm going to actually need sticks. Just in general. Um, for torches, uh, redstone torches. And then we've got the redstone. I've got my dirt right here. And I should have plenty of mana right now. Because um, it's all going to be dirt. Um, I'm gonna need I don't think I need a repeater for this build uh, if I you know what, I'll make a repeater just in case just in case I'll make like two or three I have no stone or redstone torches <laughs> okay so that's not gonna happen. how do I, how did that oh because I just put two in there so we're gonna go start the build basically and uh, we'll see how this goes all right, so it's a pretty, pretty simple build. Um, oh, water. I need to put the water in here. I mean, I, I shouldn't say simple. It's actually, I don't know. I think it's pretty well thought out. Um, this is something that I sat in creative, not in creative, well, yeah, in creative, but on another, like, you know, creative world and uh, tried to figure out exactly how I wanted to do this. And actually within my first build, I kind of liked what I came up with. So I'm rocking it and uh, it's something I can multi-layer, which is really cool. So this is my center block here. Let me go ahead and put a block down real quick. And we're going to fill this bad boy up with water real quick. Um, oh, that's close. All right, cool. I have a safety fall now. And doo -doo -doo, what am I doing here? Trying to figure out what I'm doing here. All right, so this is two, three. Okay, so it's three tall. This is gonna be the landing pad for the safe zone. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So this is the level they need to fall from, okay? So if I remember, well, I'm gonna do a little platform here because if I remember correctly, it's a three by three area that um, is kind of like the open fall area. And then this goes like this. And then this, this is really weird doing this in the vo over the void. This is like not how I <laughs> did it obviously. But it was, uh, I don't know, I think it's a pretty simple build in that sense. Um, it's, it's not complicated at all. The redstoning is really simple, but I, I haven't redstoned in like forever. So I was like, we need to do some redstone. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. I should have brought some torches up here with me 
because there's going to be freaking mobs up here as soon as I come back up. Alright, so it's a really simple platform. That's actually the whole platform right there. And then uh, it's just going to go around like this. Just to keep it contained. And around the back here. And then I gotta skip a block. Because that's where the freaking what are those things called? Um Dispenser's gonna go. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so this is the, the landing area that they're gonna spawn on. This three by three area is not gonna be here when I'm done. Man, this is crazy. I always just fear like what if my shift key just stops working all of a sudden as I'm freaking hanging over the void. Alright. And like that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So anyways, um also as I'm, you know, doing this build or whatever, tell me if you guys like this stuff. Like if you like, you know, the building aspects or like the creative stuff like this where it's not just, you know, trying to figure out the next mod or whatever, but, you know, mixing in a little vanilla Minecraft as well, because, I mean, it's where the game started. It's, it, 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 it's, it is what it is because of this stuff. Like, yeah, it's, okay, these have to be too high anyway, so. Um, I like the vanilla stuff, and like I said, I haven't done redstone in a while, um, like on anything. So I thought it would be a good little change of pace because Thomcraft is going to take up a lot of time and I'm really going to dig into Thomcraft and Batania over the next couple episodes. And so I thought it'd be nice to do something a little bit different um, today. Plus, like I said, I need a new mob farm. I need to get Viz for Thomcraft, which is actually why I was thinking mob farm anyways. And so it all kind of ties together in a really good way. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I might actually just fast forward right here as I finish at least laying down the dirt and then we'll come back and uh, continue with like the redstone work and all that stuff. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and start fast forwarding right here. All right. So as you can see, the fast forward has begun and you know, it took a long time. It, um, it ended up taking me close to about an hour to do this whole build. And uh, afterthoughts were uh, dirt was a bad idea. Originally, I had uh, planned on doing both a uh, hostile and non-hostile uh, mob farm, which is why I was doing the dirt, because I was going to plant grass. Um, then I just realized that I don't really need a non-hostile mob farm. I mean, they spawn like crazy around the house anyways. Um, and I'm, I'm now speaking from a couple days in advance while I'm doing the editing of the video. But... The, uh, the, the non-hostiles, they're crazy. Um, I've got cows everywhere and sheep absolutely everywhere. And I don't know what to do with them. Right now, they're currently stuffed in a building. So, um, yeah. But uh, anyways, getting back into this. I, I love doing redstone work. And I've, I'm actually kind of watching this, I guess, technically for the second time. But while it's being fast forwarded. And I'm curious as to how you guys feel about... Um, you know, aspects like this, like, you know, going old school Minecraft, doing the things like uh, redstone work or whatever. Like, is this something that actually interests you or intrigues you? Or, you know, is this something that you would want to, you know, see more of? Um, because I enjoy it. I really like doing that stuff. And like I said, in none of my series have I ever actually taken the time to show any redstone work or any other stuff that I do um, outside of just playing with the mods. And really trying to maximize, you know, each mod to its fullest potential and stuff. Oh, creeper. And um, it's, it literally even got my heart to jump while I'm sitting here just watching the video and talking. Um, but yeah, I, I, there's, I, let me, I, yeah, 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 English her. It's tough. Um, what I was going to say was I want to start looking into some of the other mods. There is a lot of cool stuff on here. And it's funny because every time I want to film, it's like, well, I want to do this and I want to do that and I want to do this. And everything seems so important to me that I end up like, you know, kind of getting myself stuck and be like, um, I don't know where to go with this. Um, so, oh, anyways, um, you know, we'll come back to that. But watch this redstone stuff. So this is actually where I started doing the redstone work. This was literally something that I had started playing around and I said it a minute ago. I was playing around in uh, creative because I was like, you know what, I really want a good looking mob farm. I didn't like the wooden structure, not to mention running across the bridge constantly. So I, instead of doing 20 out, I wanted to do 20 up. That way I could keep it closer. 
And the reason I wanted to do this was because I want to be able to actually manually kill some of the mobs for Viz, uh, for Thumbcraft to like charge my wand and stuff. And so that's kind of where the idea came from. And then I started playing around with it and I was like, well, okay, we're going to play with the standard eight block, you know, water run and stuff like that. So I've got the little diamond shapes and then I was like, all right, but how do I maximize the amount of space that I can actually do it? Cause I don't want this thing to be huge, but I was trying to, you know, do as much as I could in a small space. So I said, well, if I got four of these pointed in at each other, that should be pretty good. And the redstone's really, really simple. If you look at what I do, basically it's a, a dispenser in each individual one. And then there's just redstone wrapped around to each one of them. And the only difference is, is the, the side that when I get to it, the side that does not have the redstone tower coming up to it is on an alternate, um, an alternate signal. Uh, reason being, it's just because the, 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 the amount of blocks up, it had to be on an alternate signal. And so other than, you know, basic, you know, redstone, just like laying down redstone and there's one thing I had to do, and I think it's right here. There's a torch that goes under here to turn on, because I have to put that there. And then there's a torch that goes under it to turn him off. And basically, that way, when the other signal comes through, and you can see me do it right here. Um, I think you can see me do it. It was, it was really quick. But anyways, yeah. Um, because the signal needs to be you know, simultaneous or whatever. And when it was coming across, it would be an on signal that needed to turn something on. So anyways, that was probably the most intricate part. It was ridiculously simple. And then uh, in, in a little bit, you'll see me do the tower, I believe, <clears throat> which is just a normal alternating tower. So if any of you guys know Redstone, you've seen them before. It's how you take a signal up. And if you've never seen it, that's exactly what it is. It's how you take a signal up. Um, if you know when you alternate... Um, well, when we get to it, I'll kind of explain a little bit better. But when you alternate one under, you know, like two blocks, kind of kind of like a ladder. But, you know, like the impossible, like, you know, if it was gravel, it would be falling. But blocks that aren't stacked on top of each other. And then there's torches under them. And basically, if there's a signal under you, you turn off. But if the one under it turns off, then, you know, yeah, it's a chain. But if there's a signal under the block that you're on, you'll turn off. And that's basically it. Um, anyway, so yeah, back to the mods. There's quite a few mods that I want to play with. Uh, Thumbcraft is extremely intriguing to me. I really, really want to take a good look at Thumbcraft. Um, it, doing the research and stuff like that. I, I want to know, this I guess is a question I have for you guys. And this is actually a very sincere question. Do you guys want to uh, actually see me do the research and kind of take Thumbcraft step by step? Because for me personally... It just feels as though it's so grindy. That's not going to be something you want to watch. Um, but if it is, tell me. Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you do want to actually see me grind out Thomcraft. Um, I'm not going to do a lot, you know, too much grinding. But if that is something you want to see and you actually want to see the steps and you know that I'm going through, uh, let me know because I like I am constantly like debating half the time if I'm in the middle of something. You know, should I be recording this? Should I chop this into an episode? Because there's so much going on. But at the same time, I could do probably a hundred episodes just on Thomcraft alone because it's such an intricate mod. There's so much going on and there's so much to be done. So let me know. Let me know if you guys want me uh, to actually record more of the Thomcraft while I'm doing it. And that goes for any other mod. If I start kind of flying through and doing stuff off camera and there's stuff that you want to see, let me know. So anyways, back to it. Um, this is actually kind of where I release it back and we... Okay, so now you can see right here, this is the redstone tower that I was talking about. That's how you send signal up. And then you can kind of see what I meant by, you know, stacked on top of each other. Um, and it's funny because this part, I didn't fast forward and it was because I was going to leave the audio in. But then I didn't really like what I saw. Basically, long story short, I made a mistake here at the redstone. Um, couldn't figure out why I wasn't going to signal. And then it's funny, watching the video, I saw it instantly. But, you know, while I was actually doing the recording and stuff like that, I didn't notice. Uh, it's hooked up to a comparator, so it's only putting out a very, very small signal. And right where that dirt block that I just put down was is where I need to put the repeater. So it, it amps the signal back up and then goes. But, you know, it's okay. I figured it out and it's all good now. And then uh, also I added a lever, which I don't remember if I did in the video. 
Um, that way I can turn the system off at any given time. If you guys aren't familiar with a uh, uh, this type of clock doing a, um, a hopper clock, just let me know. I just... I. I I like I said I did a redstone episode and then I kind of just fast forwarded through all the redstone. Uh, reason being is it, I don't know it kind of gets mundane and uh, especially tedious and, and when you watch me do this right here where I'm trying over and over and over again trying to figure out what's going on, um, and that can be annoying. And the worst part is when you already know what you're supposed to be doing and you still make mistakes. Kind of silly. So. Yeah, so this, if this is something you guys want to see more of, just let me know. If you have any questions about the build, how I did it, let me know. Um, if you have any questions about a redstone clock, um, a, a, a hopper clock, let me know. You know, let me know. That's Man, it's so frustrating watching this right now because I'm like, ah, what are you doing? Like, what was, my mo what was my brain thinking at this point right here? It's really, really simple. You get a very weak signal coming off the comparator. You amp that signal using the repeater which is what repeaters are for and then I could just put the repeater down right there put the repeater down right there yeah right there no right there break the redstone put the repeater down no not the block of dirt like literally I this is killing me this is absolutely killing me break the redstone break the block put a repeater down R amp your signal Oh my god. Like, I'm literally getting frustrated at myself right now. This is... I mean, it's kind of funny. I don't know why... Sometimes, you know, the brain just doesn't work the way you want it to. And it's... Okay, so we'll take the signal around because that's going to make a difference. What? I'm, what is going on in my brain right here? No. No, no, no. It doesn't work. You can't put a repeater up there. But you, put, you can put it right there. <gasps> there you go. There, there you go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Look at all those drops. But there's guys on the outside. I got to figure out how they're getting out there. But anyways, I mean, that that's pretty successful, I'd say. Look at all the drops. All this goodness. And now I just got to uh, get some hoppers in there or something to that effect and uh, pump it all out but this should be whoa whoa hey how'd you land right there that was crazy all right so I'm gonna go uh, figure out how all those guys are chilling right there and uh, yeah I don't know tell me what you guys think I think it was pretty creative I like I said I just made it up about an hour before I started recording hey whoa, whoa, ah, 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 ah. Man, where did you just come from? I thought this whole area was well lit. Always, there's always a creeper somewhere. I love this dirt wand though. Dirt for days, just non-stop dirt. Which, <laughs> in any other time, wouldn't seem that crazy, but when you spend so much time trying to get dirt right off the bat, it kind of makes sense that it's exciting. Well, anyways, guys, like I said, I'm out of here. This, I think, would be considered a very successful mission today. And uh, like I said, I was going to try to keep it short, uh, not over explain anything, because, well, you know, it is what it is. And you can see the fast forward parts if you have any questions about the way it was done. Just let me know. Until next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.